my lovelies. So this sh should, should be my third video related to Cam's Planicon. I should have already published my vlog, my one that was chatty and about the goodie bag. And this video will be about the haul. So stuff that I bought, but also stuff that I got like from the swap table and stuff like that. I have to apologize about the lighting actually. I've just noticed it's not fab today. It is gray, miserable. It's been raining all day which does not equate to very good lighting, but let's, let's power through and see, hopefully, that it will get the blah, 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 blah. I'll carry on filming, was, is the point that I was attempting to make there. So, I will just start very briefly with a couple of bits that I acquired on Friday through the girls. So first, which I did share in my vlog, but I'm gonna share it again, is this ridiculously large three inch heart punch, which I'm gonna say about two, months ago maybe sorry I had noise downstairs which is why I paused for a while there um Gemma of Gemma Rose Crafts I always say that you guys know who she is by this point um saw this in her local hobby craft mine had never had it before and never probably never will so I asked her to pick it up for me and send her the money and everything but it was obviously a little on the large side size to send so she just said she would give it to me at Planicon and now I have it and just look at the size of that love it and she also because she's the cutest person ever gave us um a little candle and candle holder as well and mine i can't remember the name of the smell blue um is this and i tell you what i'll put it on not you guys will be able to smell it but i'm gonna smell it for me anyway and you can smell vicariously through me I'm also filming this on my friend Zoe's birthday. It is her birthday today, so happy birthday, Zoe. Not that this will be published on your birthday, but here, here is a happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. But I'm not gonna blow it out, because I don't wanna waste the match. That's just reminded me. On the Sunday of Planicon, it was um, Kelly, um, it's birthday of the Scrapbook Girl, I think that's the right one. Um, and so Anna was like, it's Kelly's birthday, let's all sing happy birthday to her. And we did. They were just so tuneful, like 130 people. You know, happy birthday. It was like a choir did it. It was so tuneful. I was just sitting there, like I accidentally stopped singing because I was just so amazed at like, we could be a planner choir. So yeah, just a little fun, fun little story for you there. So what else did I acquire? I also acquired this large bag of awesomeness from my friend Alice and it's um, the die cut and paper pack, the little meow one from Do Crafts, which I never actually ended up getting my hands on. So I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you so much, Alice. Like I have bits and bobs from this, but I don't have the whole thing in the papers and stuff. So yay. And also in here are those Hamer stickers, the stickers Groot, if, if you remember, if you watched that video, um, some more of those, cause she knows I love them. And there's like another pack of die cuts as well. I'm not gonna get them out properly because we'll be here for ages and it's just gonna be long enough as it is, but thank you. Thank you, Alice, I love them. Also, so I'm gonna show you this now while I remember, but you've probably heard about, I've mentioned it in the other videos, about the workshop on the Sunday with Geraldine Jane and we got items in which to use in the workshop. We've got a little baggie of items each. So I'm just gonna show you what was in there. Obviously I've used some of them, so I can't show you them all and some of it's not in its packaging anymore, but we got some ephemera, some of it I've used, and this was from a Brimble's box, I think, was it July last year? I might be wrong on that, but something around that time I um, used the little flowers, I fussy cut them to put on my spread. Um, we got each a Mr. Huey's Colour Mist. These are really, really good. At first I was a little disappointed that I didn't get blue, because um, I'm not really a yellow person, but they're free. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I'm actually really glad I got yellow because it kind of... Because I creative journal anyway, like... I felt that the workshop for me was something to like go out of my comfort zone, do something a bit different from what I would usually do. So getting some yellow and some like brighter colours and stuff was actually me going out of said comfort zone. So it kind of worked really well for me on that. So yes, I got the yellow colour mist, which I like a lot. It's Studio Calico, by the way. And then I didn't use these in my creative journaling spread, but I will use it in something else. Obviously, these Chamel um, phrase and word stickers with alpha stickers on the bottom as well. And lastly, there's the packet. I don't know why I'm showing you that, but 
four sheets of these Studio Calico washi sheets. You can see that's the one that I used there. So yes, there's those. So those are the things that we got in our little baggie. Some people got slightly different ephemera, and as I said, people got different colour mists, but for the most part, they were all generally the same. So other than one other thing, this is the bag of my haul stuff. Um, the stuff at the top is the stuff that I bought. So I'm gonna show you that first and then show you the swap stuff at the end. Stuff that I got from the swap table, obviously. Um, so yes, let it does begin. Right, so this is in no particular order. I am just grabbing as I see it. So first, oh, I've got something else from that shop as well. I'm just trying to find it. So yes, first I got stuff from Little Rainbow Moon. I got this cut apart sheet here. Very, very pretty. And then the smaller bits that I got, I got a two sheets of stickers. Yeah, two sheets of stickers. So I got these little sort of uh, sentiments and words ones and these washi strip ones. Love, love, love those. And then I got this little pack of journaly cards. I just very, very quickly um, show you those if I can figure out how to open this package yes while I open this I will also tell you the other thing I got from Little Rainbow Moon I cannot show you because she was taking orders for her um subscription boxes well not really subscription boxes because you don't subscribe you buy them so anyway point being her box and I pre-ordered the May box which I should receive within the week um the May box was called like down at the beach or life at the beach or something like that and as you guys know I like nautical and sea related things so I pre-ordered that and well can't show you because I don't have it but I will do an unboxing when it arrives so here is the little pack of journaling cards with the butterflies and stuff on those are super lovely and then lastly I got washi so there was like a bargain bucket of one pound washi and from there I got this um, I think it was Jo has halfity stashing I'm not sure but I got this really nice this is like a two centimeter one with that floral print on there and then she was doing wide washi and you guys know I like wide washi quite a lot and I don't have nearly enough of it. So wide washi three for six, which is a really good deal. Um, and so I got this one with the little whales, whaleys on. I got this one with the little birdies on. And then of course I got this one with the little kitty cats on. And I thought she'd sold out of these and I was like, mm, and then I found one. <laughs> so happy face. Okay, next, what's in here? Like, I genuinely can't remember what's what's in here. Okay, Strawberry Lime Designs. I got a regular um, sticky kit, and this wasn't my usual thing to go for, so I was being a bit, I'm just so adventurous sometimes, you know, like really, really pushing the boat out. Anyway, this lemon-themed kit, or lemonade type themed kit, which, yeah, I just thought would be really, really nice for summer, and I don't, Gen tend to have many yellowy things so yeah I got this because yeah and this was five pound for one directly four sheets so there's your four boxes there icons and headers and such littles and half boxes and then the washi strips so yes strawberry lime design is where that is from as I said then this one is from Managing Mischief. Now there was something they had that I wanted, um, which my chair's really creaky today. I think I need, I still need to tighten the screws. I keep forgetting. Um, their setup, by the way, was just so beautiful. I think I showed it in my vlog. It was just like, wow, so pretty. There was a weekly sticker kit they had there called the Paws one. <laughs> Paws, you think I love Paws. Um, which I wanted, but I didn't buy because they only had the full full kits with them with all the headers and littles and on the boxes and stuff and I won't use those so I didn't want to buy a full kit um so I asked her if they had just the just like the full box and the washing and something and she said she was really sorry they didn't bring them with them um but there's the discount code and everything to order online so that's what I'm going to do is order it online I'll probably have to do like a fifth Planicon video of all the stuff I order with all the discount codes from the goodie bag but anyway point being um I got these, they have like little characters doing stuff and they've all got like different colour hair and there's different skin tones and stuff and I got Ivy because Ivy is a redhead and this one we've got like life happens, coffee helps, may the coffee be with you and coffee is always a good idea so there's that one and then this one I like, put your positive pants on, keep breathing, keep smiling, 
um, not keep breathing, just breathe, but that kind of thing, just nice little positive ones there. So I got those. And then this one is Philo Fabulous. And from there, I got just this little um, sheet of date cover up stickers. And these were, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, oops, stickers. It says perfectly imperfect on the back. I don't know if that's related to the stickers, but I can't seem to see anything. I think they're ever so slightly off cut, but not anything that would bother me. But it was only a pound for that, so woohoo. Then I got this little magnetic clip because who could resist? The little kitty cat because I certainly could not I don't remember how much it was I think it was two pound but I could be wrong with that but anyway very cute and lastly I got this pack of ephemera which was originally packaged way nicer than this but someone whose name I will not mention Alice had a little look at the ephemera with my permission I might have said she could but then didn't package it up very well when she finished but I'm not going to show you every single one but I'm just going to give you a rough ugh idea of the ephemera that's in there so you've got oh like an ice cream van dream catcher little sort of animal girl thing i'm not quite sure what that is like yeah so loads of little cute things like that in the ephemera pack what's that there's like a little little narwhal there so yes that ephemera pack was oh i'm gonna say three pound i'm not sure how many pieces in there i'm gonna estimate about 30 but i'm not 100% sure on that, but that's really, really lovely. And I don't know if Fire Fabulous does more ephemera packs like that, but if they do, I'm gonna buy some more. Then from the Early Beth Design Store, I just got some Illustrated Faith stuff, and I've just seen ugh, a little pack of love hearts. Nom nom. <laughs> um, and I like this bag. This is gonna be a useful bag. But yes, anywho, so I just got some Illustrated Faith stuff. I got an ephemera pack, which has got that those things on the back there and I got a washi stickers pack there which has various oh there's little circle ones as well so little ones like that and then lastly for stuff that I purchased um is from the Mrs Brimble's stall so nice to be like with all the stalls really like shops that you know from Etsy or from online to see the stuff in person and get all touchy touchy feely with it so yes I didn't go over nuts I don't think oh I didn't purchase that that's something I stole from the sweet sweet thing and I'm going to eat shortly but yes so I got this. I'm sorry, Gemma. I'm not rubbing it in your face. I'm sorry, but I, I picked it up first. It's mine. <laughs> um, so this is a thing of chipboard stickers by Pink Paisley, and it's like pen pal themed. And this has been in the shop forever on sale for £3. And I have wanted it so much, but every time I put it in my basket, something's gone wrong and it says it's not available or whatever. And I saw these just in a big back box of other similar stickers and just like ninjaed them out of there and Gemma was like no I wanted those and being the wonderful good friend that I am I said ha ha tough I win so yeah I got those I got some more of the stickers from the April Brimbles box I've already got these but I wanted some more because I really really like them and I really want to use them for like scrapbooking and journaling Panacon so yes yeah, got some more of those then some washi tape. I have to say most of the washi tape that was there is washi tape I already have. <laughs> um, but these three were not and they were three for five pound. So I got this lovely black and floral one. This one with little blue anchors on. And this one, which is really interesting actually. I don't quite know how to describe it. It's kind of got this marbly effect on which now I'm thinking about it is making me worry that this is the washi that's going to be in the May box because I know there's some marbling in the May box so I may have messed up here but never mind because it's really pretty and then another three for two deal was three distress stains for uh 12 pound and I know I've said I don't tend to buy these things because of the price glug 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 um but three for 12 was actually a really good deal. So I got, so they're Tim Holtz Distress Stains. I got Chipped Sapphire, Tumbled Glass, and Evergreen Bow, Buff, Bow, Boo. 
And there's seven ways of pronouncing O-U-G-H and I don't know what it is in this particular situation, but yes. So I got those ones. Um, they're all kind of greeny blueies like colors I like and I know I was talking about the yellow and being a bit different but there's only so much different that I can do so we're sticking with the blues and then there was a deal on scrapbook papers for 50p each so I grabbed some um, and so yes yeah, so this one is we are memory keepers urban sheet which is a cut apart sheet like this with this pattern on the back this one is Dear Lizzie Saturday, um, so it looks like that, so we've got stripes on one side and this dotty one on the other side. I love both sides of that actually, if there were two I would have got both of them, I'm going to be very torn about that one. Um, then we've got Jen Hanfield's Warm and Cozy, so that side has got the daisies and that side has got the wood effect, not over keen on the wood effect but I do like the daisies so obviously I use that side. Dear Lizzie Saturday again, this stripe pattern on one side and this floral on the other. Definitely going for the floral for that one. Then Pink Paisley, don't know the range. Genuinely, I don't think it says what the range is. Um, but there's that one, which I think will go quite well with the, mind, the, 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 the My Mind's Eye Bloom collection that I have. So I got that. And this is actually really cool if you... Um, I don't know where to put these. I just have to hold it up. This is actually a letter that you can read. Like, I don't know if it's one that they've just made up or something that one of them found. But yes, I received your... I don't have, I don't have my glasses on. I can't read it. But um, if you've got this paper or if you've sent it around, it actually does have, like, a letter on that you can read, which I think is pretty cool. Um, what's the other side? That's the other side. Then. Whoa! I'm used to doing scrapbook papers on a face-forward video. This is quite a hard work, so geometric. On the other side, again, no apparent name, but must be from the same collection because it's got that same letter and I've checked and it's the same writing, so um, same wording, I mean. So that on one side and that on the other, which, ooh, mm, mm, yes, yes, yes. Then Crepe Paper Heart Day, that on one side, that on the other, definitely not that side the best. And then lastly, Amy Tan, Oh Happy Life, and this is the one that's got like the washi strips kind of thing, so obviously, I mean, you've got that on the other side, which is pretty cool, and I do like it, but obviously I'm going to use that side, because obviously. So, yes, those were all 50p each, as I said, and I think that is everything that I bought, so, yes. Wowzers. So now I'm going to move on to the stuff that I got from Swap Tables. So yes, let's start with that. Oh, just quickly, I've just rem um, not remembered, but just found in my bag um, some stuff I was also given. Um, so these washi tapes are from the lovely Maddie or Madeline, whatever you prefer. I'm pretty sure you prefer Maddie. Um, but yes, so she gave me these, bless her, and I've just these really lovely wide ones with the wood effects. And the and these are all paper mate or paper mania ones because I've got the uh, paper pack that matches these two but yes but I do particularly like as well this wood panel one with the floral and she also made me and I really hope she doesn't mind me showing and if you do then it's too late I'm sorry I um yes forgot what I was saying but yes um I hope she doesn't mind me showing but she made me this beautiful beautiful card look how beautiful is that now I know you probably can't see on camera but this is like all now she did say what the type of craft is called it's something parchment embossing something i'm not sure and i'm i just don't know but it's so beautiful and wow just look how lovely that is it's so lovely so thank you so much for that so yes swap table stuff first i picked up this um fabulous roses pad this was one that was in the works and also in the range i think um and i have all sorts of um pads from this craft sensations range or whatever they're usually about three pound each but this is one of the ones that i did not manage to pick up so i saw this and was rather chuffed to get it i'm not 100 percent sure if it's all there but if it's not i don't care so yes got third paper pad some six by six papers so i got the simply floral i have something in this collection i can't remember labels i have the labels from this collection so yay matching um these are just random ones i don't know where these came from but they're in a bag so yes um and then another six by six i don't really know what's in here i just kind of grabbed it because i do love six by sixes they're really handy but there's just a bunch of stuff in there 
And these two little stickers packs, as you see, there's a couple used, but that is the nature of the swap table. Um, so there's little butterfly stickers and then some alphas. And then this one is the same with the butterflies in a sort of black and white and cream one. There, the alphas won't be too useful because a lot of the vowels are used, but we'll, we'll find something to do with them. I didn't go too mad on the washi samples swap. I did put in about 20, I think, but I, it was just, it was so much to look through the bag of washi samples. I just couldn't bring myself to do it, but I did pick up these nautical ones, especially that wide one. Love that. And I picked this one up. I know this sounds awful. I didn't pick it up from the tape for the tape. Not that there's anything wrong with the tape, but I picked it up because I like the card as it's got Odin on the back. So I picked up the washi sample for the card, I'm afraid. Does that make me really sad? I don't know. I don't care. Then I got this pack of stickers. Let's just open these. I haven't actually opened them myself yet. I just kind of assumed that I would like them. Um, yeah, I think I do. So just some nice decorative floral stickers. I do have some similar to this, but not exactly the same. Um, but you know, I do like my florals, guys. I really, really do. And there's little birdies on that one and some washi strips ones there. So those are really nice. I got a random handful of journaling cards. I didn't really look through them very well. I just sort of vaguely went, yeah, I think I like the look of those. The swap table was very small and it was kind of often like a queue to get there and I didn't want to like take up too much time. So it was a bit smash and grab-esque. Um, so yes, there was a big box of journaling cards and I didn't obviously just take the whole lot because that would have been rude. So I just grabbed a little, little handful like that. Then Lady at our table, who had not put her stuff on the swap table, put it in the middle of our table for us to have a look at. Um, so from that, that little pile, I got these um, stamps. Lost the word stamps there for a second. That That's pretty bad. How does one forget the word stamps? But anyway, got those ones. And then also there was this paper pad, which is a stamping up paper pad. I don't know the make the like the name of it or anything. But um Alice, who was sat next to me, was just like, kinda like that. Um and I was like, Do you want it? He's like, well, do you want it? Well, do you want it? Do you want it? Like being British. Um, so we decided to split it. So there was four of each design, so we just split it. And got two of each so that worked out pretty well so that just gives you an idea of what is in that one then just two washi tapes no three washi tapes i've just found this one so there's this one very pretty blue floral this one with the black sort of connected dots and this one which i don't know how well you can see but it's pink with a white arrow on and then the very last thing is this so Yes, this is the Kiki K uh, Sticky Notes set from the Be Brave range, which was out ages and ages ago. I can't remember when. And though I'm not a big fan of sticky notes, as you guys know, it's slightly different when it's Kiki K. I mean, I don't tend to buy them from Kiki K, but seeing them on a swap table was just like, yes, I would like these, please. These are mine. I have um, managed to get on eBay a Be Brave printed notepad and a Be Brave. Um, do I have the printed notepad? No, I don't have the printed notepad. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. That's really bad. I've got the Be Brave sticker book, not the printed notepad. There we go. Um, but yes, I don't have much of it, but I really like it. So yes, I was really, really happy to, to get these. Woohoo! So that was my haul of purchased and given and swapped items from Cam's Planner Con. I think it did pretty well, pretty well. And the, a couple of the shops, um, I didn't mention in this video about why I didn't go to them. It was a health reason, kind of went, went a bit, had a funny turn. Um, but I am probably going to go and shop with them soon with the discount codes from the goodie bags. Because there was some stuff that I would have, had my eye on but didn't get around to buying it. So probably going to do that too. If I do like order a bunch of stuff with discount codes, I'll probably do another video with Dis the discount codes haul or something like that I don't know we'll work on a title if I do it that is but yes so that was video three video four is going to be very different it will be very silly and completely unrelated to Cam's Planicon but it was filmed while we were there so that's that's why I'm including it in this list of Cam's Planicon videos but other than that yes I've got all my goodie bag stuff in a pile over there I've got all my haul stuff around me and now I need to go on an epic tidying up mission <laughs> oh, I don't want to okay I'm going thank you for watching